Okay, now came, come to this clock portion. In our clock, we have three inputs and one output. Three inputs are manual, auto, halt and the output is clock. We have designed our clock so that we can control our clock manually and auto. Uh, and this input halt is coming from the controller sequence. When the halt instruction is 1, the clock will stop working. So let's take a look inside. To make our clock, we have used two multi vibrator. One is monostable and another is stable. And this monostable multi and both these multi vibrator have been made using triple five timer IC. We are using monostable multi vibrator to control our clock manually and this stable multi vibrator to control our clock auto. And triple five timer IC have eight pin. Number one pin is grounded, number two pin is triggered. As this monostable part will control our <coughs> uh, manual portion, so we have connected this to now terminal with a manual input. Number three is output, number four is reset, number five is control, number six pin is threshold, number seven pin is discharge, and number eight pin is voltage source. So we have connected a five volt battery or you can use a voltage source of five volt. This four or eight long pin has been wire connected with the battery as well as the resistor uh, R1. Uh, the value of the resistor is one kilo ohm. And this six pin and seven number pin has been connected the other part of the resistor and this wire has been connected with a capacitor through a capacitor and this has been grounded. And we have used an, another capacitor of one nanofaraday C2 and this C1 is 1 microfaraday. So now come to this stable multi vibrator part. Here we have also used a triple 5 timer IC and the all 8 pins are same. In number 2 pin as we have done any manual triggered condition so we have connected this 2, 5 and 6 pin with R2 and then this wire has been connected with a capacitor C3 value of 1 microfaraday and then it has been grounded. <coughs> and then we have connected our 4, 7 and 8 long pin with R3. Let me tell you this R2 and R3 is, has been connected in series. Number 5 pin has been connected with C4 with a, and the value of C4 is 1 nanofaraday and it has been connected to the C3 and then grounded. And in this auto condition, if we want to fluctuate the value of our time period of our clock, then we have to change the value of this R2, C3 and C4. You can do that. In our case, we have all we have just changed the value of register. We have increased the value and the time period was increased. So this 3 pin was is going here and this auto connection is coming here and the from the monostable part this input is coming and when the manual connection is on this AND gate will uh, this AND gate will activate it and this will not so auto is zero and when auto is the one this will not the input one to zero and this will be disabled so either monostable or stable multi, multi vibrator will come here and this will be odd and we have connected this NOT gate. So why we have used this NOT gate? Here you can see when our manual input is 1, from number 3 pin, this value will come as 0. But we want, as our manual is 1, we want 1 here. As 0 is coming, we are by adding NOT gate, we are changing the value. So when manual is on, the output is also 1. The manual is 0 and output is also 0. And we have ended this value with our halt and not condition. So this halt connection is coming from the controller sequence as I have already told you. When halt is 1, the clock will stop. So 1, here 0, the output of this will be 0 also. When halt is 0, this will be 1 and this signal will pass through the clock. So that was our all about clock.